Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14, this is equal to 12. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. So we have x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14, this is equal to 12. We can express x to the power of 21 as x to the power of 7 multiplied by 3, then plus x to the power of 14. This can be expressed as x to the power of 7 multiplied by 2. This is equal to 12. Now, x to the power of 7 times 3, this is in the form of a to the power of n times m, which we can express as a to the power of n raised to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have x to the power of 7 raised to the power of 3, then plus x to the power of 7 raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 12. The next step from here, we have x to the power of 7 here and x to the power of 7 here. So we can write x to the power of 7 b equal to u. So that now, here we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2. This is equal to 12. We have that here. x here is a member of real numbers. We have that x is a member of real numbers. Now, we have here that u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2, this is equal to 12. So let's take 12 on the left-hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 subtract 12. This is equal to 0. Now, we have again u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 subtract. Now, 12 can be expressed as 8 plus 4. This is equal to 0. Now, here we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 subtract 8. 8 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3. Then again, minus times plus 4. This is the same thing as minus 4, which we can express as 2 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now, we have u to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3 here. So this means we can express this as u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3, then plus u to the power of 2, subtract 2 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now we have two parts here. We have the first part here, and here we have the second part. The first part is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. And the second part is the difference of two perfect squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. Now the first part is the difference of two, two cubes here, which you can express as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is equal to a minus b. Here we have a squared plus ab then plus b squared. So we have that u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. This can be expressed as u minus 2. Here we have u squared plus 2u, then plus 2 squared, which is 4. And let's call this equation 1. Now, the second part here is the difference of two perfect squares, which is a squared minus b squared. And this can be expressed as a plus b. And here we have a minus b. So we have that u squared minus 2 to the power of 2. This can be expressed as u plus 2. Then here we have u minus 2. And let's call this equation 2. So let's combine equation 1 and 2 here so that we have u minus 2 
then we have u squared plus 2u, then plus 4, plus here we have u plus 2, here we have u minus 2, this is equal to 0. Now, we have that u minus 2 is common here, so we can factor out u minus 2. And then here we have u squared plus 2u plus 4. Then plus we have u plus 2. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. Now we have two parts here. The first part is u minus 2. This is equal to 0. The second part here, we have u to the power of 2, then plus. Now, this is 2u plus u. This is 3u. Then 4 plus 2. This is equal to 6. Then this is equal to 0. Now, from the first part here, we have u1 is equal to 2. Now, the second part here is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c. This is equal to 0. Now, from this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and that c is equal to 6. Now, we can assess the nature of this quadratic equation here by determining the discriminant value, which is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c, so that now, here we have 3 to the power of 2, subtract 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is equal to 6. So 3 squared, this is 9, minus 6 times 4, which is 24. So 9 minus 24, this is minus 15, and minus 15 is less than 0. So this implies that here we have actually two complex roots. So we have two complex roots here, and this implies that this quadratic equation here will not give us a real solution here. So there is no real solution from this quadratic equation part. So now let's focus on u1, which is equal to 2 here. Now, if you recall, we are saying that let x to the power of 7 be equal to u. Let's substitute this so that we have x to the power of 7. This is equal to u, which is equal to 2. To solve for x here, then we'll have to introduce the seventh root of x to the power of 7 on both sides. This is equal to, now here we have the seventh root of 2. Now, if we simplify here, this is the same thing as x to the power of 7 raised to the power of 1 over 7. Then this is equal to the seventh root of 2. So we have the seventh root of 2. Now, if we simplify here, we have that x is equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 7. So this is the value of x. This is the value of x. So the next step from here is to verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that the value of x, which is 2 to the power of 1 over 7, satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we have that x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14. This is supposed to give us a value of 12. So let's substitute x. We have 2 to the power of 1 over 7 raised to the power of 21, then plus 2 to the power of 1 over 7, raised to the power of 14. This is supposed to give us a value of 12. 
Now let's simplify here. 21 divided by 7 here, this is equal to 3. So we have 2 to the power of 3, then plus. Again here we can simplify. 14 divided by 7, this is 2. So we have 2 to the power of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 12. 2 to the power of 3, this is 8. Then plus 2 to the power of 2, this is 4. This is should give us a value of 12. So 8 plus 4, this is equal to 12. And this is actually equal to... So that implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that x equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 7 satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe please like this video and subscribe see you in the next video